Hey everybody, this is Kim from Put A Cup In It and welcome back to our channel. We're so glad you're here. The review today is of the Luma Unique Menstrual Disc. If you're new here and you aren't subscribed but you found us through searching on YouTube or Google, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. The menstrual cup disc market is kind of exploding right now. And as we're getting a lot more of the reusable menstrual cups, we're also seeing quite a few new menstrual discs coming out on the scene. So Luma Unique is a brand that is based in Brazil and you can now find it available to purchase in the US, which is exciting because people have been going nuts over these cups. Here are the basics about the Luma Unique. It is a medical grade reusable silicone. It's sort of a tacky material and it has a deep basin for each size. So it has a really good capacity, especially um, if you're someone who has a somewhat lower cervix and want capacity um, and don't have room for a menstrual cup. It has a pretty firm rim, although I'll say that the larger one doesn't have as firm of a rim as the medium and the small is really close to the medium. So if you're someone who really liked the disposable discs, this one might be a better experience for you than the Nixit or the Ziggy because their rims are not quite as firm. This is still not as firm as the Flex or the Instead or Soft Cup or whatever you were using before. Those were all identical, but it is firmer. This is the small Luma Unique, and you can see it has a tail. We'll talk about that. This is the medium. And this is the large. The large is very comparable to some of the other discs you've probably seen, such as the reusable Nixit, um, the reusable Ziggy disc. So in diameter, they're very similar and also very similar in diameter to the disposable Flex or Soft Cup, whatever you want to call it. Very similar in that diameter. Menstrual cups and discs are completely different in how they're worn. The disc is worn internally, kind of in the widest part of the vaginal canal under the cervix, and the cup just sits under the cervix and takes up that entire vaginal canal, or at least most of it. So cups are folded and put in basically straight up and down and just sit under the cervix. The menstrual discs are folded long ways like a hot dog, and you squeeze, put it up inside, tuck it behind the cervix, and then push this up towards the pubic bone and it has a somewhat diagonal lay and catches the flow this way and it has this basin here <laughs> and you really, I mean it really, um, if you just filled it full without it being inside a vagina, it would hold quite a bit. Um, Luma has measurements on their website and we have a menstrual cup comparison chart. I don't know everything off the top of my head, but discs are reported to hold more than cups, but it really varies per person because as you can imagine, it's probably not just gonna sit like a full bucket. It does just sort of tuck in, so it may or may not hold nearly as much as you expect, but it does still have a really good capacity. It is still good for people with fairly heavy flows unless you're talking about um, the Luma specifically in the smaller sizes because the capacity will go down. In the case of Luma Unique, it also has the string. The string can be useful, and in fact, I did leave it on the first, I believe, two days that I tried this disc. It takes away some of the negatives of removing a disc. I don't prefer discs over cups simply because they're a little messier to remove. Generally, you would hook, if you can, hook this part what, that's inside and pull it down. Um, I generally don't end up being able to be successful with that, so I will have to kind of reach in and grab it. Having the string made it so that I could pull it downward without getting super messy and then kind of being able to empty the bulk of it while it's sort of hanging out before um, removing it, meaning it was a lot less messy for me. That being said, I'm not a huge fan of this because it does poke out and I would try to like tuck it back inside and that would come out and I could feel it. Um, and also, if you're using the disc for a mess-free period sex, this will get in the way, so you'll want to cut that off. The Luma website has recommendations on how to pick which size will work for you. Um, if you imagine what the vaginal canal looks like, it does have sort of a tint at the top, so while this looks massive when you're saying you're going to 
prop it out. Um, it really does fit. Um, so this wider one didn't, I didn't mind it at all. Um, but some people have not been able to get a good fit by pushing it up. It's just too wide, it's too large. And in that case, one of these smaller ones would work better for you. Um, I actually don't know exactly what to prescribe in terms of should you get the large, the medium, or the small. I wouldn't base it necessarily on capacity. I think fit is always going to trump capacity. So um, we have a lot of Luma users in our group. If you'd like to join and kind of feel out what people said about what size work for them, that would be a great place to do so and get some information on it. When it comes down to it, I really like discs more than I ever anticipated. Having such a good experience with the Nixit disc, um, which I, you know, you can see that review and having such a good experience with the Luma, having a pretty good experience with the Ziggy. All of these reusable ones have been really fabulous for me. And uh, again, I will most likely use Luma or Nixit. I think they're pretty much tied for me in terms of comfort. I couldn't feel either one of them. So there's no reason for me to buy this one over Nixit other than it might be a little cheaper. You can purchase these in the US. I think they're around 35, 40. Nixit is 50. Um, and these come with the string if you want it. And if not, it's very easy to remove. So here's my Luma Unique review story because it's actually a pretty good example of how amazing using a reusable menstrual cup product can be and why it's so convenient. Uh, my husband and I went on a kid-free vacation and we were flying to Europe for me to go see my favorite musician, which is very exciting, uh, Billy Corgan, who was doing a solo tour in Europe. Uh, I'm a massive Smashing Pumpkins fan, and you couldn't tell, I guess. <laughs> and of course it was period time. So I packed the Luma because I've actually been really enjoying using discs and having a very leak-free experience, but I also needed to review it. Instead of reviewing a cup that may or may not work as well for me, um, I decided to pack the disc that I figured would work because I had tried it slightly before um, during the last period. So I wanted to give it a more full review and I packed my handy Goldilocks cup just in case this was a disaster. Uh, I do remember feeling like my period was starting when I was at the Danish Design Museum in Copenhagen, which was like my lifelong dream to go. Uh, I didn't actually end up starting that day. Second day, it was like drizzling, still using my disc. I think I ended up using the disc nearly eight days because I had this really slow start to my period. But because I was traveling, I didn't want to risk not having something inside. So I just kept putting it in, you know, taking it out and cleaning it every 12 hours in the hotel or wherever we were staying at and then putting it right back in. So I used it forever. By the, by the fourth day, I had actually been wearing this damn thing in my vagina. I finally had a real period, but it was nice because I never was bothered by wearing this at all, even though I was not on my period for at least most of that time. Well, as it turns out, the full, full flow was also on the day that I was going to see the concert that I flew there for. Uh, the day before we had done a scavenger hunt, this is just totally off topic, but I have to, to share. We did a scavenger hunt because they announced that you could win a meet and greet with Billy Corgan and a guitar and tickets to the show. The scavenger hunt was in German and was um, all about Hamburg, the city in Germany that I am not, a, not from. I was on my period and was wearing this disc when we did the scavenger hunt and we won. So I could not be stopped. I am unstoppable with a reusable menstrual cup product. We were actually running around like crazy people uh, and it was fantastic. I'm also very competitive. So I knew we were going to win and we did. My friend Carl, who is a musician, got to keep the guitar, which was a prize. I didn't need the tickets because we already had tickets. The golden prize was meeting my musical hero and the person I've been uh, healthily obsessed with since I was maybe 11 years old, and that was Billy Corgan. So I met him once when I was 15, and long story short, I had a full-on panic attack, anxiety attack, hyperventilating attack. So I always knew that if I ever met him again, I would have to play it cool, be a normal person, not freak him out, and I did. I did such a good job. I wasn't a freak. <laughs> we actually just talked about tacos, um, and really normal things. So I was on my period for that, wearing the disc, and I was on my period for the concert, which was 
right after the meet and greet. And had no issues whatsoever. I was on my feet. We walked four miles that morning on my period, on my heaviest day. On my heaviest fucking day, we decided to walk four miles up like the steep cliff in the city, up and down like five million stairs. I think it says I climbed 30 flights of stairs on my health app. Um, and then was standing for hours waiting in line for the show and then was standing during the entire concert. It was a standing room only and went and got dinner, got home, all that stuff or our friend's house and no leaks, like none. So it was the biggest day possibly in my life. Like, I mean, it's crazy to think that the thing I've wanted for my whole life, I got to do. Um, and I happened to be on my fucking period that day. Um, but it was fine. And that's why I'm such an advocate for these products because it, you really, I mean, you can run marathons, you can meet your musical icon, you can uh, go on whatever dream vacation to Cancun or to St. Kitts or whatever, um, whatever your dream is, whatever that entails. Like if you happen to be on your period during that time, if you have the right period products for you, it really should be a non-issue. I didn't have to change my disc the entire day. That whole day when I was doing the craziest thing of my life, did not have to think, oh my gosh, am I bleeding out of whatever I'm wearing? Do I need to go change my tampon? When I'm waiting all day for a concert to get front row, which actually turned out to be a moot point because uh, they let us stay in the venue after the meet and greet, um, but I was near the front of the line anyway, um, those days when I'm on my period, I don't have access to a bathroom and I will wait, you know, eight or 10 hours or whatever it is that I need to, to be the front of the line for a Smashing Pumpkins concert or a Billy Corgan show. Um, not really anyone else cause that's who I want to see front row. But it's, it's just insane to me that this product could make the difference between a good experience and a good day and a not so good day. Um, and that was the top day of my life, maybe besides giving birth and getting married. Uh, my husband actually was with me for this and got to meet Billy Corgan as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I have this product to thank for working during a trial and being amazing for me. Uh, it, it's not always going to be amazing for everyone, but this was amazing for me. So that's a cool story. And shows you how well this worked for me. I'm really happy with the product and this little uh, want want disc for putting in your pocket. It definitely uh, is a little more transportable pocket wise than most cups with the exception of the compact cups from Lily Cup and uh, the Lily Cup One. So Lily Cup Compact and Lily Cup One are far more portable because they're smaller um, diameter, but this is pretty easy to carry in your pocket. Our group has talked about the loom a lot so if you want to search that group on it's called put a cup in a community you can go there and search for people talking about the luma unique and that's it i think i'm a disc convert it's kind of crazy thanks so much for watching everybody and if you have any questions leave them in the comments or anything you want to add we would love it if you subscribe to us on Put a Cup in It here on YouTube. And if you follow us on social media, we are also just Put a Cup in It across the board. Put a Cup in It, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Bye. Tip my hat. Is that what you do? Oh, this is good. <laughs> How? Fuck. My leg. Shit, I'm too old. Oh, fuck.